Never Stop Learning, week 122. I'm gonna take a quick look at graphic styles in Adobe Illustrator CC. So I'm gonna get started here in this blank document, and I'll come over to my tool panel and activate the rectangle tool. All right, so I'll just click and drag, and by default, it's starting off with this basic appearance of a white fill with a black stroke at one point. So I'm gonna make some changes to this shape in its appearance, and then we'll save that off as a graphic style. We can find our graphic styles by coming over here to Window, and then scrolling down to you find Graphic Style. You click on that once, and then the panel pops up here. All right, so let's make some changes to this shape. I'm going to change the stroke to have a blue stroke, and I'll thicken this up uh, and give it a 20-point stroke. There it is, and I'll come back to my Swatches panel, activate my Fill, and in here I'm going to give it a cyan color. All right, so now this looks pretty different from what we had before. So we'll come back to our graphic styles. And let's say this was a look that I wanted to save off because I'm going to be using this continually throughout the piece. So I just have to come over here to my graphic styles panel and click on new graphic style. And it automatically created a new graphic style for me here. If I control click on this thumbnail, you see I get a little preview of what it's going to look like when I apply it to a shape. Okay, so let's make a new graphic style. All right, this time, I want it to have a yellow fill, and for the stroke, let's turn into an orange stroke, and just to, for the sake of making it look different, I'll turn into dash lines. Okay, so I'll go back into my graphic styles, and I've decided that on this project, uh, we, we're going to start using this graphic style. So to create a new one, again, just click right here, and it automatically updates here. And now we've actually decided we are no longer going to use this graphic style. So I want to make sure nobody has access to this one anymore. So I'm just going to override it with this new one that we need to use. All I have to do while I'm in the panel is click on this thumbnail, drag it above the other one, and now hold down Alt, and you see my cursor changes to a plus sign. When I release my mouse, it's actually overwritten the one that was there before. I could delete this new one, and now this one's good to go. All right, so... What I like about the default graphic style is I'm, I'm able to hit the letter D and it will give me this default style right away. But that might not be a look that I, that I want for my piece. So let's uh, create a graphic style of something that I would use for my drawing. All right, so for the stroke, I don't want it to be dashed lines anymore. And for the stroke weight, I want the smallest one possible. So I'm going to leave it at uh, 0.25. And I actually don't want to fill, so let me go ahead and remove that. And now we can go back to the graphic styles and create a new one. Again, when I control click on it, you see I get a little preview of what it's going to look like. All right, great. So now all we have to do is repeat that process we did earlier. I want to use this as my default style. So I'll click on this new one, hover over the default. And then once I hold down Alt key, you see I get that plus sign again. I can release my mouse, and now when I control click on it, you see I have this preview. All right, so let's see how we could use this guy. I'll delete this shape here. I'm going to pick up my Intuos and select my favorite drawing tool, which is this dynamic sketch tool by Astute Graphics. And I'll just start sketching away. That looks pretty good. And let's say that by accident, I choose a, grif a different graphic style or for whatever reason I accidentally change the appearance. Well, while I have something selected, I could hit the letter D and I got my graphic style back. I could also select all of the shapes that are in my file here. I'll hit the letter D and it's turned them all into that default style that I had before. So I've been using this a lot for my Wacom Wednesdays when I'm uh, doing some drawings. So I'll also provide a link for that so you can check that out. And there you have it. That was just a quick look at using graphic styles in Adobe Illustrator CC.